work uh, in this exhibition. There are um, two new works uh, and one work uh, from 2018. The one called I Really Missed Your Phone Calls, My Mom, uh, which no one's ever seen, uh, along with this, some older pieces. This new work is called We Took a Trip uh, to Nashville to Help Her Remember. The dream of my mom's life was to go to Nashville, uh, like so many people in, uh, people in her generation, Taliban people. Uh, she grew up loving country music. Um, <clears throat> elders above her generation loved country music from Nashville. This was the dream of her life. And she somehow managed to make this happen three times. She went by herself. You know, we, she found the money. I don't even know who donated, you know, money to her because there wasn't extra money, right? She made it happen, you know, and she wanted to be a music manager. So on the third trip, she signed up for a course to be a music manager um, and started that kind of work, you know, and, uh, in this uh, performance documentation by uh, Ashok Mathur took this performance documentation. And my sisters are there, Kathleen and Naileen and my best friend, Ayumi Goto. We're all, we're all there together, uh, Ayumi Goto. And uh, Ayumi had the idea that we should go to John and June Carter Cash's graves, right? Um, I wanted to take my sisters here uh, to Nashville so we could actually go to the places that our mom went to. But she went to Nashville 20 years ago. <laughs> Cities like this change. I learned that, right? Like, uh, so we kind of just followed our guts to the places which we felt like mom went to. And then we went into these places and there were things happen that happened which were like, yep, Mom was here. <laughs> and, and Ayumi had this beautiful idea to go to the, the, these graves, right? Uh, and uh, our sisters are wearing uh, these incredible jackets that our mom somehow found the money to buy in Nashville, you know? Uh, so we went to the graves and I thought, what am I, what are we doing here? Like, and then I remembered this. Our mom went to uh, one of Johnny Cash's final performances, which took place at Merritt Mountain Music Festival. Uh, I was actually supposed to go with her, but I don't know why I didn't. I can't remember. Because we all love Johnny Cash. Everybody loves Johnny Cash. Everybody loves June Carter Cash, you know? And so my mom went and she took our, her niece, um, Charlene. Anyway, She's got a rose. She's approaching the stage and she's talking to the security guard to say, please put the rose on the stage for Johnny Cash. Well, the security guard um, took her as a drunk Indian. Yeah. Uh, and misread the situation. Um, racism is real. Uh, and he grabbed her on her arm and busted her arm. Yeah. Uh, and then they escorted her out of there uh, and put her in the drunk tank, right? And the whole time she's, she didn't drink. Uh, and the whole time she's saying, my arm's broken, my arm's broken. But the um, powers that be in that space didn't believe her because they read her as a drunk Indian, right? And it was only until after her arm swelled up to twice its size that they actually believed her um, and took her to the hospital, right? And she had two surgeries on her arm. Uh, There's a bunch of uh, bolts and things in her arm to fix the breaks uh, that happened. You know? um, so we're standing there in front of John and June Carter Cash's graves, and I wanted to say to them, like, 
on behalf of her mom, uh, Johnny Cash, Jim Carter Cash. This happened to her mom at your concert. And I want you to know that our mom doesn't blame you. That she loves you, and she loves the work, the songs, everything you offer to our family, to our community. Um, and we put Indian medicine down, like sage and tobacco, for John and June Carter Cash on behalf of all the elders back home that love them. And um, I sang some songs from our territory, from our uh, from our song history as a way to say thank you to John and June Carter Cash on behalf of our community. Um, one of those songs is uh, a song called Ya Kadajani, which is composed by uh, an elder songwriter named Bill, Car uh, Bill Carlick. Yeah. While we were there, this woman showed up and she took pictures of me uh, singing and drumming and she was very respectful. I didn't feel harmed, you know? And she come over to talk to me and she says, uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? So of course, yeah, of course, you know? Because, you know, one of the things our mom taught us, taught me, uh, I watched her do this. She always talked about our culture and, you know, she loved our culture. So I shared the songs and, you know, and uh, the this woman, she said, well, I'm here because my mom's here. And I thought, oh, your, oh, your mom's in the graveyard. So I immediately, I was like, please take some tobacco and put it on your mom's grave. And this is something that, you know, some indigenous nations do as a practice of respect, right? Um, and she said, uh, my mom's in memory care in Nashville. I thought that's so important. What a coincidence or a synchronicity or a resonance. Because our mom is in memory care right now uh, at the Bockley Lodge here in Smithers, BC. So somehow our mom was there also through this woman. Yeah, it always makes me think, what is this Alzheimer's? You know, what is it? Right? Like somehow she spiritually was there. Yeah, so that's what this is.